how do I pray this thing? <laughs> so both Furukawa, so both Furukawa san and Hirano san, for them to be together, as Jonathan was mentioning, here at the Anime Fest or even at an international convention, it's the first time. But not only that, the fact that they're actually doing a live dubbing for you guys is actually incredible. Like you never see that at conventions, right? So Furukawa-san said, yeah, it's gonna be the first time in 30 years for us to do this dialogue together. So it's a real treat. So please make sure to give them lots and lots of support because this is really amazing that they're doing this. So I think they're setting up now. So how excited are you guys that you get to see a live dubbing? I would try that. Ready? Ready right, to so go? There won't be any sound except for them. Right. Ready? Set. Go! Block! <laughs> huh? Okay. Yeah. Oh, what is that? ダニ。違う。でも、俺じゃなくて、わあ、いやいやいや、やめろ、やめろ。よし、よし、よし、めっと、よし。ダニ、見つけた。今、今までどこを突き抜いてたんだ。待って。ダニ、見つかぞえる
Um, and Mr. Fukawa said, yeah, and sometimes if you wanted to get a certain type of effect, you might have to flap your lips with your finger or even use a paper cup to make the echo sound a little bit differently. So they had to improvise quite a lot um, in the environment. はい、だからあとはよくあの物を食べながら喋ってるようなところもありますし、あのラーメンをすするようなときも何にもラーメンを食べてないのにラーメンを食べながら喋るようなことができるんですね。So he's pretty amazing because you know sometimes there's scenes where they have to speak um, while eating. Um, in the show, right? And so it's not like they can actually slurp up a bunch of ramen while they're recording, but he can do it. He doesn't, I mean, he can imitate it amazingly. So when smoking? Smoking. And so you speak, kind of, you know, put something in your mouth to simulate the sound of you speaking if you had a cigarette. だから、あとはこうまっすぐ本当に近くにあのマイク近いやつにただ立ってるだけなんですけど、遠くに行く時にも声を遠くに出さなきゃいけないんですね。特にラムちゃんはよく空を飛んでて下に向かってダーリンという
And so for the, uh, the design, I, I focused not only on you know, a full front view, a profile view, a view from the back, um, different expressions, kind of really made a complete set. And actually, I also was responsible for designing the coloring um, for all of the main characters. え、黒部隊外のところはすごいいろんな色で、あの、虹色にこう、いろんな色をつけてあるのもあったんですけれども、あの、そういうこう塗り分けの髪の毛にこういっぱいあるようなので、ちょっとアニメだと無理なんで、
a friendly, a, a cooperative competition, if you were, of who can kind of outperform each other. And fortunately, I think it ended up in the work continually getting better throughout the four and a half years. So that was a, that's a fantastic memory for me. 多分だからこういう今でもこの作り手とあの我々というのが仲がいいのではないかと思ってます。And you know, I think that's actually a major factor that I've been able to have such a great friendship over all of these years with the creators like Miss、uh, Akemi Takada and others. So it's 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 very enjoyable. うん、古川さんっていうその最初にうるせえを作ったスタジオの社長さんも、まあ、あの今もあのキャストもスタッフもあのすごく可愛がってくれてます。So, um, even Mr. Nunokawa, who started Studio Piero, right, and, and was the producer on this show, even today he is、uh, intimately involved with them on a personal level and still friends, and, and they like to hang out and have a great time.、So. 日本語読めたら布川さんの本買ってあげてください。If you, anybody can read Japanese in here, please buy Mr. Nunokawa's book. <笑>おそばさんの企画術、Amazon で売ってます。So, this is the book. It's on sale at Amazon. <笑>うるせえやつらの初期の話もいっぱい載ってます。So, there's a lot of his techniques and skill, his stories and background information that's in the book here. And it's titled uh, uh, Osomatsu san, you know, the anime Osomatsu san,、um, the, the planning techniques behind Mr. Osomatsu san, or Osomatsu san.、So. All right. So, this is a talk about this, but I'm going to show you the one thing that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the one thing that I'm going to s h o 音響監督の芝さんが、まあ、2人だけだし今日はテストをなしでやりましょういつもテストやってラス,テス,トラストテストと2回やってそれから本番って3回やるんですけどそれで収録するんですがその時は最初から、まあ、ぶっつけ本番いきなり本番やるんですねそれでやって OK になったこれはあのいい思い出ですね怖かったですけれども。So, um, for me... Gosh, I have so many great memories, but here's one for you that, that maybe not many people have heard. And、uh, there were two episodes throughout the series where it was only me and、uh, another voice actor, Mr. Akira Kamiya.、Mm-hmm. And it was just the two of us. So the sound director, Mr. Shiba,、um, he said, You know what? How about we just go without any rehearsal, any test this time? Normally,、um, when you do the recording, there's, there's actually three layers of testing before they do the real. Um, the real gig, but this time they just kind of said, let's go for it, instant,、uh, instant final version, if you were, and just see how it went. And、uh, I was actually really thrilled to learn that our first take was approved and used. So for me, the two of us kind of ad- almost ad libbing, you know, just doing it straight off the bat was, was a great experience.、Mm-hmm. あの私は本当にアニメーションが初めてだったのでスタジオの様子が分からなかったんですけど録音する時の画面はこういうふうに今見ていただいたように色もついてないのはまあ普通なんですけれどもあの人の形の線もなくて見に行ってあの仕事をしている時の画面がこういう黒い線がずっと流れているだけだったり赤い線が流れているだけだったの間に喋らなきゃならないっていうことを先輩たちがやっているのを見てすごい。すごい仕事だなと顔も出てないのにあの赤い線が出てる間はラムさんがしゃべって緑の線が出たらアタルがしゃべってっていうそういう過酷な状況が普通なんだと思ってたんですけど異常なことだと後で知りました。<笑> She said that when she first started u r u s e Yatsura, because it,、uh, it was her first animation, so she had no idea what to expect. And then she got to the studio to record, and she noticed that a lot of the characters were not even finished, they weren't filled in. And she was like, Oh my gosh, you're kidding me, I have to do this, you know? And that the green was Furukawa san, and then the red was Hirano san, and then there was this black, it was black lines, and it was just craziness. And she was I was absolutely amazed by what they did and how they did that and turned into that. And she thought, oh my God, this is how animation is done. And she found out later on it's not always the case. <laughs> <laughs> 